Until my lungs give out your beauty Welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name is Simone today I'm making oil free vegan potato waffles I've just heated my waffle maker up and I've got some Marie Piper potatoes here which I'm adding some onion salt I've drained them first and I've got a tablespoon of onion salt here you could put garlic powder in if you wanted or any other seasoning I've got some black pepper here I just put a sprinkle in but you don't need to add it if you don't want to and then I'm going to put a heaped tablespoon of cornstarch and then I'm going to mash it up um, until it's smooth. So with the potatoes it's best to get like a floury one like King Edward or Marie Piper. I don't know what other types of floury potatoes you might get in other parts of the world but in the UK you can get these from pretty much anywhere. So I'm mashing it up and as you can see my little... Um, he was one at the time, almost two, Micah, was getting his hands into everything. The potatoes weren't red hot, um, so you don't have to worry about him burning his fingers here when he's wanted to get some of the potatoes out. So what I'm doing here is once I've mashed it all up um, and it's smooth, I am putting it into the preheated waffle maker. And I put quite a lot in, as you can see here. I have two other oil free recipes at the moment in the playlist. I've got buttermilk pancakes and they're vegan and also vegan crispy sweet waffles which are amazing. So I'll link them above if you want to check them out. So as you can see I've put lots of potato on here. I think I made about 5 in total with 1 kgs of potatoes. I also peeled them by the way but you don't have to if you don't want to. So I left them in for about 10-15 minutes. It's best not to open it. I usually only open it when it stops steaming because otherwise it could get stuck to the top. As you can see, this one is not as brown as the one in the beginning footage. So the next waffle I made, I made sure that I left it in for even longer but I didn't film that unfortunately. I wanted to do a taste test without anything on and they tasted really amazing. I served these with some oil free hummus which I got on Amazon, I'll link that down below and also some sprouted rye bread which I got from Holland and Barrett in a haul and I can link that video above if you want to check it out. I also put some salad on top and I made some cooked tomatoes and peppers and onions and this is the plate dished up and the kids really loved it, my husband loved it, really really tasty. So I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time, bye!